Hey guys, welcome back for another week of Angie's Manny's. I hope that you had a good week. My week was pretty good. I got a new camera, yay! So hopefully the video and the audio on this are a little better than last week's. I have decided I am going to keep trying to do these videos. We're going to shoot for once a week, and if I can throw one in extra, then I'll be excited about that and hopefully you guys will enjoy that too. I do have some fun plans coming up. I think they're fun anyway because I'm a Polish person. I like Polish. I'm going to try and do a haul at the end of January. I do have some stuff that's been coming in in January. Yesterday, Moonshine Manny's Is This a Kissing Book was available and I ordered it and I got my shipping notice already so hopefully we'll have those soon and be able to do a review for you. Also, Jody from Jody's Polish is doing Talk About It Tuesdays and like nail polish talk about it. So hopefully I'll be able to throw some of those in too. I'm excited about it and hopefully you guys will be too. Let's get into this week's Manny's. I ended our last video on Monday, I believe, with Celebrate Everything from Moonshine Manny. So the first one I wore this week was Caloris de Carol Slappy's Tie. Hopefully you guys can get a decent focus on that. This is a blood red holographic. It's super deep, very pretty. I got this one, um, a sale she was having the first, I think it was after the first of the year. This is from her Halloween collection. I have been looking at it, but I wasn't sure if it was different enough from stuff I had in my collection to justify it, because I really try not to dupe too many things. It totally happens. I do have dupes. Usually I'm not mad about it, because if there's polish in my collection that I have, it's because I like it. So, But I do try not to get dupes intentionally. I have a picture for you guys of this by itself, and I also did some stamping, just with some black stamping um, polish, with this Bundle Monster one right here and it's Bundle Monster XL02. So the black on this really dark blood red hollow didn't show up too much because it was dark also but I really liked it. I like the dark mampy look it had. I can't remember if I told you last time I work in a hospital laboratory. I do testing on body fluid samples and as I was painting this on I thought hmm that was a pretty good representation of blood red. So I hope my lab perspective doesn't turn you off of wanting this because it is a beautiful nail polish. So if that creeps you out, forget I ever said it. And this was Cloris de Carol Slappy's Tie. On Tuesday, I wore Zoya's Yara. This is a beautiful olive green. has a lot of gold sparkle in there. It's, I'm not sure if that's going to pick up or not. But because of that gold sparkle, this is opaque in two coats, but because of that gold sparkle, I wanted to accent it, so I used Moonshine Manny's Smiling's my favorite. This is one of my favorite golds. It's like an, um, kind of a tarnished or blackened gold. I really like this one. So I just did a half moon, half moon circle accents on my nails with that over Zoya's Yara. I used regular painter's tape and just cut out the shape and stuck it on my nail to do it that way. Then we're on to, to Thursday? I don't know. The next day. Let's go to the next day. Then I used, this is a Black Friday polish I got. This is Polish Cozy Sweater. It's a jelly grape kind of purple. has a bunch of multi-chrome flakies in there. So to get the flakies to show up, actually it was almost opaque in two coats. I could still see a little bit of my visible nail line. I totally would have been fine with that. I decided to do a third coat to see if the color deepened any. And it did a little bit and it brought it 100% opaque so that I did not have any visible nail line. So if you have a really stark visible nail line or you just don't like to see it at all, you're going to want to go three coats on this. But the flakies were beautiful. And this is Polish Cozy Sweater. So next I wore Picture Polish Talisman. And I can't even tell you when I bought this. I've had this for a really long time. It's a black scattered holographic. And I had forgotten, because I have so many nail polishes, I do try and go through my collection and share the love with all my nail polishes, but I had forgotten how similar this is to Zoya's Storm. Zoya's pretty famous for their scattered holographics. So because 
they were so similar I wanted to see how similar. I do two swatch sticks for every nail polish that I have when I swatch them. I paint the underneath side so you can see the true finish on the underneath side and the finish like it would look with a glossy top coat on the regular side. Because I have two swatch sticks for every polish because I separate them by brand and I also separate them by color because I have a lab obsessive personality. I'm going to have them flipped one right side up and one upside down and try and get a good picture. You've got Talisman from however long ago because I don't think you can buy it anymore. You can judge if you think you need Storm or if you love Talisman then you can go after Storm. Talisman was a little more opaque than Storm. Talisman was opaque in two coats and Storm I think I did three to make it completely opaque. Talisman did stain around my cuticles a little bit when I took it off but I basically live in the desert so my skin is dry all the time. Next brings us to today and I'm wearing Sinful Colors Savage just a beautiful cream turquoise color. This does not have a glossy finish so if you're wanting a glossy finish you're gonna need a good top coat with this one. And I wanted some accent with it so I used Polish. This is another Black Friday one. This is, I don't know if you can see all the beautiful multi, er, the flakies in there, but this is Tangled Tinsel. This was a Black Friday exclusive. It's really pretty. I thought they would be pretty together. So I did an accent nail of that and some on other nails and I just used the painter's tape again to make my straight line and it doesn't mess up my polish. That's what I have the best luck with. I know some people, sorry if this is shaking my desk, some people can use the striping tape and do it. I don't have luck with the striping tape. So when I'm trying to make a design to paint and I need a guide, I use painter's tape. So that was my Saturday Manny and I was loving that. I had a good week in nail polish and I'm really excited about the upcoming videos in the channel. So just again, thank you everybody for your support. I hope that you enjoy these. If you have any suggestions, I am open to suggestions and I will see you next week. Thanks guys.